Hello and welcome to part 10 of my Win UAE guide. So today we're going to be looking at retargetable graphics or RTG for short. So RTG is uh, basically a third party uh, graphics card that you could install into your Amiga. Now this wasn't really available in the Amiga 500 or 1200. Uh, this was more of the high end Amigas that were box shaped and it was seen more in industry rather than for gaming but in Winio AE we can emulate this so what we're going to do is we're going to download a couple of things first thing there's just a little bit of information that you can find on Wikipedia about retargetable graphics and what it is um, but if we search on Google for Aminet P96 uh, we find a Picasso 96 driver so I recommend you download that then we're going to go to WinUAE and if you've been following along with my previous guides and everything then you'll most probably have a better workbench set up um, already. What we're going to do is we're just going to copy that and I'm going to put P96 at the end of this. There we go. And as well I've got a PC directory and in there I've got my Picasso 96. LHA file that I've downloaded from Aminet. So with all of that, let's fire up uh, WinUAE. We've got the latest version of WinUAE, which is 4.4 at uh, the time of this recording. And what we're going to do is we're going to load up our configuration uh, that we've had uh, before. So if I go to hard drives, uh, we've got our better workbench set up. I'm just going to double click on that. I'm going to choose the copy that I've just made. There we go. So we've got the P96 one. So we click on OK. Uh, we can keep games directory. It doesn't harm it too much. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a PCO drive. And we're going to call this PC. And the path of that is my PC directory which remember is in my WinUAE folder and is where the Picasso file is. Excellent so that's all done. So the things that we're going to change slightly with this configuration is first onto CPU I'm going to untick 24-bit and then I'm going to go to RAM so I'm not going to be using any Zorro 2 RAM, I'm going to be using Zorro 3 RAM. Let's bump that up to 128 meg. And then uh, the most important thing under here, you've got RTG board. So if we click on that, we then have uh, an option here to select board. Now you've got two options here. You've got UAE Zorro 2 or you've got UAE Zorro 3. Now, what's the difference with these? Now, let's go back to the CPU. Um, because of the CPU, if I untick 24-bit addressing, it automatically becomes a 32-bit processor, and that allows you to use Zorro 3 memory. Okay? So, if I hadn't done that, and I'd stayed with 24-bit addressing, I'd only be able to address up to... Uh, 8 megabytes of Zorro 2 memory, but also I'd only be able to use a Zorro 2 board. But because I've chosen untick 24 bit, I can therefore choose the Zorro 3 option, and that's what I recommend. So we'll just bump that up to say 8 megabytes of VRAM, that should be fine. And then um, what we then need to do is go to display make sure that the window actually we'll change the window later we'll, we'll get to that later so uh, yeah just make sure that you got RTG selected and let's start up the Amiga so let me just move that screen so we can fully see it there we go and then click OK okay so we've got our better workbench set up at the moment so if I go into system at the moment, and then preferences, screen modes, 
well, as you'll see, you would have got power modes at the moment. We've got high res and low res, okay? And we can go up to a potential maximum of 256 colors. So I'm emulating an Amiga uh, 1200. Uh, that's all I can do at the moment. Let's install the Picasso driver. So if we go to PC, go show all files, double click on the Picasso 96, at the beginning of the command, I'm going to do LHA space X space and then Picasso. That extracts it. Operation successful, excellent. So we close that down. If we update the folder, we should see a Picasso 96 install. So let's go into there and let's go to setup. So there's a couple of things that we need to make sure that we do in this. If we go to proceed. We're doing a first time install, click proceed. It's intermediate uh, user that we need, click proceed. Uh, read the documentation. Well, I'm showing you what to do here so you don't need to read the documentation. And this again, no, we don't want to read the manual. And what we need to do on this first option is make sure that UAE GFX is ticked. It is here, click proceed. Where would you like the Picasso 96 library files to be installed? It has to be under syslibs. Then the next one is under dev monitors. So click that one. And then the preferences need to be under syspref. Then uh, yeah, dev Picasso 96 settings, choose that one. Now with this one, we select a different location. We go select another location, go to system, and then we find storage. Click proceed. Okay, do you want to have the application driver copied to the hard drive? Yes. Do you want the patch? Yes. Yes to all, and then proceed. So, do we want to create a drawer for the cards and chips? Yes, proceed. Yes, copy this. Yes, copy that, copy that, copy that, copy that one, and that one, and that one, and the monitor driver, yes. Ah, now the next bit, install Picasso 96 mode. We don't need to do this, we can skip this part. And again, the tool types for Picasso 96 mode we don't need. Then we carry on copying the rest of it. Proceed, and then proceed, there we go, all done. So if we go F12, reset, wait for it to load up, and then uh, we're going to go to system, go to preferences, go to screen mode, and then you'll see that we've got more options. So under UAE, we can go up to quite a high resolution so this is the full resolution of my monitor that we're on at the moment and as you can see we can go to 16 or 32 bit color so let's choose uh, 640 by 480 16 bit and as you can see we can draw the colors all the way up to the top there click save don't worry about this error message. This is related to um, a tool in Better Workbench. It does actually save the config. And there we go. It's changed the res resolution for us. And as you can see, we've now got a full two megabytes of chip RAM left now on our machine. That's because all the graphics that would have been used by the two megabytes of the chip RAM is now being used by the graphics card itself. So as you can see, it's a little bit distorted and that's because if we go to F12, remember I, change, I set a resolution of 640 by 480. What we need to do now is under display, we need to change this window size to 640 by 480. Click OK and there we go. That's much better. No black borders at all and everything in the text is nice and clear. So what are the reasons for having um, RTG graphics? 
Well, um, it gives you a lot more resolution. So uh, for more serious side of Amiga and using Workbench, it allows you to have much more space. It allows you to have sharper graphics as well. So uh, in later videos, I'll be looking at the more serious applications of the Amiga. So word processors, 3D applications um, that will benefit from the RTG. So this was a quick video on how to install RTG in WinUAE. Um, if you have any questions at all regarding this, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want me to demo anything else in WinUAE, please drop that down in the comments below as well. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.